Hundreds of people are looking at the task of rebuilding their homes and their lives after the Woolsey fire, and that can be overwhelming at this difficult time. And joining us now is State Farm Insurance Agent Rita Hagopian. Nice to meet you. Nice to see Thank you. Thank you for having me. You have been, you spent the last few days at one of the evacuation centers. Right. What is the most common question you're getting right now? What to do? Yeah. You know, where can they look for help? Mm -hmm. uh, most people are just confused and scared mm -hmm. and um, just want somebody to talk to. Uh, you know, people aren't as concerned about, okay, let me, you know, get this or get that right away. They just, they just want somebody to talk to you right now. How mm -hmm. soon do you need to make that call to your insurance agent once something like this happens? I mean, this is so fresh for everybody right. out there. I mean, honestly, as soon as possible. As soon as you're in a safe location, you know, call your State Farm agent, make contact with them. If you've already suffered damages, uh, you can contact your State Farm agent, call 1-800-SF-CLAIM, go to statefarm.com. I mean, there's a slew of ways, your mobile app. Yeah. But yeah, as soon as possible. What things are covered and what are not? You know, honestly, there's so many different coverages within a homeowner's policy mm -hmm. that our claims teams are right now on the ground level with the agents working to help each client go through those claim uh, questions and see what they can do, help them rebuild, uh, work with them as much as possible. I mean, during catastrophes, it's, it's really overwhelming, and that's sure. what the claims team is there to do. So you, live your, you lose your home, you're living somewhere, a hotel, yeah. Yeah. Uh, perhaps going to be for, for quite a while now. Right. What kind of living expenses are also covered with, with homeowners insurance? Uh, can you get any of that money back? What we ask is that you collect all your documentation mm -hmm. of all those excess costs and uh, hopefully when everything, the dust settles, they look mm -hmm. at everything and break it down and uh, they can be reimbursed ideally. What about homeowners who have lived in high risk areas and refuse to evacuate? Right. Uh, <laughs> what do they do? So we really want people to be safe and listen to authorities. I mean, it's very, very important that they do so. Uh, but they need to be prepared. They need to have evacuation plans. They need to create it. They need to go over it. Their family needs to know where to meet, who they're supposed to call. Uh, a part of being prepared is going through your home and videoing your personal property. Having that inventory, uh, it helps a lot at the, at the time where you know, a claim needs to be submitted. And we really need people to listen to authorities if they're supposed to be evacuating. Right. But be prepared. And in most cases, homeowners insurance is, is not a huge chunk of above a budget. I know mm -hmm. I pay homeowners insurance. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what it is. It really does pay to have it. I mean, people need yes. to definitely have it because yeah. in situations like this, um, it's, it goes beyond the theft of your home or something like that, Absolutely, right? absolutely. I mean, there's so many different coverages within a homeowner's policy and renter's insurance. Um, both mm -hmm. of those are really, really imperative yeah. to have. Right. Will it be harder for people to get insurance now because they're going to have such a huge claim, you think, or um, how does that work out? Well, ideally, they already have insurance in place, mm -hmm. and they shouldn't have a problem after that, and their yeah. company should stand mm -hmm. with them. All right, Rita, thank you thank for you. coming by today. Thank you for yeah. having me.